Want to make some extra cash? How about renting out your house on Airbnb? During a one-year period last year, Memphis Airbnb hosts earned nearly $13 million, welcoming around 124,000 guests. And there is no shortage of listings. There are around 1,300 properties in the Memphis area. But is the extra cash worth the risk of renting out your house? Local Live Team Senior Investigator Jenny DePrizio explains. Just this week, Airbnb announced new safety measures after an unauthorized party in an Airbnb rental in California ended with five people being shot and killed. Closer to home, there have been problems. An East Shelby County woman ended up with $35,000 worth of damage after a short-term renter threw a party at her house this summer. Despite hearing these horror stories, homeowners are still signing up. This is video from an unauthorized party held by someone who rented this house on Airbnb just south of Cooper Young in the Castalia neighborhood. Unbeknownst to the homeowner, the renter and his friends used social media to sell tickets to the party. The same group of friends did the same thing earlier in the summer at this house in South Haven. The homeowner had no idea his home would be used for the wet and wasted summertime pool party. Hundreds of teens ended up in his pool and left tens of thousands of dollars worth of damage. And then there was this. In 2017, three people were arrested after turning the Airbnb they rented in Cooper Young into a brothel. The next door neighbor is the one who first discovered there was a problem. It was fairly obvious. It was a steady stream of men going in and out. Police shut down the Cooper Young Airbnb brothel and neighbors say the homeowner felt so victimized he sold his house and moved out of town. It still had that invaded feeling, so they didn't want to stay there anymore. I hear these horror stories on the news. That's not been my experience at all. J.R. Parsons has had such a good experience with Airbnb, he's just bought a second property in downtown Memphis. I'm getting about three times what I was getting when I had a longer term runner. There's a lot of things to think about before you start letting people come into your house. Lawyer Kevin Snyder says before you decide to list your house as a short term rental, think about this. Most people don't realize if somebody gets hurt or something happens on your property, you can actually be held responsible for it. Snyder recommends setting up a business or company and putting the property listing under that so you're not personally liable if something goes wrong. Also, while Airbnb gives you insurance, Snyder says get additional insurance and remember, while you can say no parties allowed, that doesn't mean people listen. Both of these homeowners listing said no parties, but it happened anyway. If somebody's gonna rent a house for the weekend and they have a sole intent of having a big party, there's not a whole lot you can do about I it. I think I probably the product of good luck as much as anything else. As for Parsons, he does his best to properly vet everyone that stays at his place, and he's just hoping he never has a problem. Ultimately, I'm still responsible for my guests that are there. Now, there are some interesting Airbnb listings in the Memphis area. When I started searching, I even found one advertised as a male nudist bed and breakfast. We went there, and one guest told me it was a life-changing experience. Hear it for yourself on localmemphis.com. For the Local Eye Team, I'm Jenny DePrizio.